I don't know how I feel about being human. I love Robin Williams and he's one of my favourite humans ever. So there was always going to be an aspect of the 1994 film that I enjoyed. However, there are certainly aspects of it that I think are not perfect. Written and directed by Bill Forsyth, the Warner Brothers film looks at this one character called Hector, who is played by Robin Williams. But we see Hector at five different points throughout history. Um, so we have five different vignettes with a, a character called Hector, five different characters called Hector, played by Robin Williams. And we go back to kind of prehistoric time to, you know, all the way up to modern day. And this character of Hector is obviously, I guess, a, a pretty stereotypical man of that time and problems that he would face, things that he has to kind of overcome and ultimately what it means for him to be a human at at that time. I assume the point in this here is to kind of suggest that humans, although we have changed and developed over the years, fundamentally what it means to be human is going to technically be the same. And, and we all want the same thing. We want love, happiness, success and security. And, and the film kind of portrays this character of Hector in these different times. And it's it's fascinating. It's absolutely, I, I will not deny that it's a fascinating concept. And I think it works reasonably well. I just think, I, because I'm not the biggest fan of anthology films. Now, this is technically not an anthology film. But because we have five separate narratives, it's not my kind of film. I prefer films with one main narrative that spans across an hour and a half, two hours, whatever. This is about two hours. And certainly it's interesting to see these five different characters named Hector. I, I, I applaud the fact that Robin Williams plays each of those characters because it makes it easier to accept the fact that human beings are fundamentally all the same throughout history. We all have the same basic needs and basic desires. And, and having Robin play the same character, well, the same named character, throughout these five time uh, moments in history was a, was a really effective choice. And the film didn't have to do that. They could have had five different actors playing five different characters with you know, five different names. But I think it was a decision that worked really well. And obviously Robin Williams' performance is great. It's interesting to see how he plays this character in five different ways. But also we can see elements of each character in each different character. And it manages to do this without being too repetitive or too boring. Because obviously the actual environments, the situations themselves are very different. I just think the whole five separate narratives are not my kind of thing. There's nothing perhaps wrong with each one in turn. I think... Each individual one's developed fairly well and the costumes are great, the environment's interesting, the set designs are nice, the acting is obviously fantastic. It's just not perfect. There are times when I felt like it could have been better, it could have been more successful. And I can't put my finger on why. And I also can't work out if it, that's definitely because I just don't like this kind of film structure or if it's because the narratives aren't woven in together well enough. I don't know. But for me, there's just something there that makes it not quite amazing. It's got 5.5 out of 10 on IMDb, which I think I would have given it maybe... Oh, I don't know. Uh, you get complicated when you start saying 5.8 or 5.9. Maybe a 6. Only 33 Metascore, which is a bit... Um, painful because it's got a great cast very well acted this the script you know the dialogue's pretty interesting it's an interesting concept and it's worth a watch it will make you think i think it's more interesting because it's thought provoking but as a piece of art yeah it could have been better but it's not the worst and i'd say being human if you think it sounds like something you will enjoy then i would say it's worth a watch